Yo, 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 this is Ray Ray Easton, a.k.a. Lord Slayer with the Racing Gaming Channel, bringing you Doom Eternal. So I know some of you are probably like, you have not played, mentioned, or talked about this game in over a couple of months. Let's just say I've had things to do. I have forgotten to get re-involved in the Doom game, and I do apologize. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump in. So I played this game just a little bit, right, because... I played the multiplayer version, and it was kind of cool, but it kind of got a little bit old, and I might have kind of thought that the game was going to be something else, right? And then I got wrapped up in doing other stuff, but now I'm actually going to jump into the actual campaign, right? So I'm going to do the I'm too young to die, because I am. I'm much too young to die. The next time around, I'll be significantly versed enough in order to die, because when I die, I want to go down like a pro, man, like a pro. All right, so I played this game a little bit, and it was super sick. It reminded me of a game that I've already played, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cross the streams. Don't cross the streams. All right. Number one tip when playing Doom. Against all the evil that hell can conjure. The intro is super sick. All the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them. Only you. I love a good dark game. Rip and tear until it is done. Until it is done. Shut up, Char. I told him I said 15, 20 minutes. Just don't say anything. We're like 30 seconds in. Alright. Like I said, I love a good dark game. There's all types of like hell going on in this game so far, right? Just in case you haven't seen the game, I'm going to let you see the intro. This will be the first and only time I'll show the intro, I promise. And this is the Slayer. It's not where I got my game, my name from. I've had my name for a good many a minutes. But it's a nice little added... Uh, benefit to playing the game. Nearly 60% of our planet has been consumed by the invaders. We have the Hell Priest signal locked in. The target is marked. The graphics are super sick in this. Super sick. Who it is here that they fear? Not man. Who is on this? They fear the Lord of the Beast. Eternal intro. Alright, so like I said, I jumped into this game a little bit. That way I could already know what to do because I hate trying to figure stuff out. So, like I said, the graphics are really good. This almost reminds me of like um, Left 4 Dead just a little bit. Controls are fluid, fluid to all hell. Alright, so it's basically saying you can punch and then do some extra stuff, which I'm not going to really get into. It's called a glory kill. But only when they're glowing. So you'll see this dude glow. Bam, right? He kind of chops him in half, which is super sick. And I love how every glory kill is a little bit different like that glory kill he actually pounded his head down like into his shoulders super sick all right chainsaw all right so it's basically saying you can do the same thing with the chainsaw on these suckers wait oh see all right 
and then it leaves like these uh like items that you can get like ammo and Let's see sorry and I'm playing with the keyboard and mouse so it, I actually have to reach my little finger down to get this get the C key all right so it's pretty sick with the chainsaw uh, if you run out of ammo, you can actually switch to the chainsaw and use it. Actually, it switches to it automatically. Opening up these doors, you just walk up to them and punch them. All right, so, and you can also, you can jump and double jump. So it's not like a Warhammer where you cannot jump, right? Okay, no Space Marine jump, right? I don't know what the heck that's all about. All right, so he can jump. It looks like you're on a ship, right? I mean, it's all like bouncing and moving around and stuff. But yeah, it looks like a ship or a, a barge. All right, so this is basically saying, I had to uh, play with this a little bit to figure it out. So you can actually pick like, you can pick sticky bombs or you can pick, pick full auto, right? And what you do is you actually hold the mouse down and then you select whichever item you want, right? And he just yanks that sucker off. He's like, this is mine. All right. So, uh, you basically saying is pre press or hold the fire button in order to utilize or use, right? Juicy, man. Juicy. Bam. All right. But this is where it gets serious. You can go right up to that fool and, like, punch him, right? All right, I'm not gonna try to die immediately. All right, so I ran out of bullets, right? But I can, you can kill them and then you can get more ammunition. It's a very fast paced game. If you've got a little bit of ADHD, you might actually enjoy this game. All right, one of the other things you can do, which is pretty sick, you can double jump. So you can actually clear Um, air, uh, you can clear certain um, ravines and stuff by double jumping, which is really nice. Nice. I love that freaking move. The game is super sick as far as like some of the kill moves. I mean look at that. He's freaking just takes his head off. I'm sure I'll be dreaming out of this tonight. Double jump. Alright. So I think I cleared everything in there. Wait, nope, there's another guy. That's got to be for the chainsaw. These actually throw you upward. They're kind of like a, like a high jump. It's turned him into a shorty. All right. That was a hell barge. Tap. Oh wait, hell barge is tab to view codex entry. So we can do tab, and then we can see where we're at, like map wise, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool.
He's like, no, not quite. Your soul's not quite guarded. Not guarded enough, buddy. Look at that, he's fixing his crown. Very nice of the Doom Slayer to fix that crown for him. I always gotta respect the Highlands. Now check this out. Look at this massive fool. Consumption of Earth has been reduced by 36.8%. There are two hell priests remaining. I don't think I can kill that. Oh, maybe, yeah. Wait. Maybe not. Alright. So let's go. Once again, we can uh, select which type of item we want. Sticky bombs or full auto. I'm going to select the full auto. You can swap weapons or swap mods by pressing a F key or whatever key you have if you have like another type of gaming system. Objective markers. We don't care, we just want to play the game. Alright. See, when I first played, I didn't know how to get around, and I didn't know how to open up these, but you just pretty much just punch your way through, which is kind of sick. I ain't gonna lie. He's half the man he used to be. So, uh, I think you can jump down there, but not directly. You really gotta be careful where you can or cannot jump. Man, he's throwing some punches with this guy. Alright. So this is what's kind of sick. So you got like a, like these little bars you can swing on, right? But you have to sort of do it right. So you have to double jump. You jump, and then jump again. And then he swings and jumps, which is kind of cool. You played the multiplayer game, it kind of, uh, you have to use that quite a bit, but it's just crazy in the multiplayer game. All right, so this guy is pretty, pretty difficult. If you remember playing the original Doom, this guy was kind of in it, but he's a little bit more ferocious in this version. And there he is. You can run, but you can't hide, demon. I probably should not have, uh... Probably shouldn't have went after him like that. Still not kill that guy in the back.
Oh, nice. So the game, yeah, it's a little, it's a little bloody, it's a little gory. If you don't like blood and gore, it's not probably not the best game for you. But and the graphics are pretty sick. Whoa, dude, calm down. All right, so where am I supposed to go now? Not down there. Alright, uh, so we can swap our weapons. And one of the ways to swap your weapons, <clears throat> instead of scrolling the mouse, well, I guess you can do it that way. I thought you had to hold Q and then scroll. I guess you could do it either way. So it's a little different than most of these first person shooter games. I tried to do this before and you couldn't swap the weapons that way. Oh well. Alright, uh, so this is an auto map station. Let you see where you're at and where you can go. Oh, snaps! He got me. Alright, so that dude is a little difficult. Um, he's got a turret on his head. I think you're supposed to try to kill the turret first, I think. Let's try it again. Oh, broke his arm off and stabbed him. Alright, so I'm not going to go down there and fight him um, head to head. I guess I have to now. He got up there quick. Got him. Super sick. where you're going.
I probably should have jumped in here to begin with, and then I could have like uh, actually like shot some people instead of being down there and shooting them. But whatever. I like to be in the fray. Investigate this building right here, real quick. Behold the fruits of our labor. Can't get through there. how we can double jump like right in the middle of the air kind of helps you get around but if you don't know that you're not really getting around as much as you could all right don't have to shoot them like if you're like out of bullets or I mean well you might want to shoot them because they might not die immediately what who's who the hell is hitting me oh you and this is super sick all right yeah yeah watch I'll show you So you can like climb up stuff now. This is where it gets hairy. See these things down there? They're like shooting stuff at you. And then these guys are like shooting stuff at you. So it's like. gun in his mouth. Oh my god, that was sick.
That's got to leave a bruise. All right, so then you get to choose once again. You basically get to choose what type of items you want. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go with the full auto this time around. What, maybe I already did that one. Hold on a second. E. So you can swap back and forth. So I'm going to go with the precision bolt. Frag grenades, very nice. All right, so this dude. <sighs> so they're saying basically you can put a frag grenade in his mouth and it will blow him up. Um, so if you can fire a sticky grenade or a frag, a sticky bomb or a frag grenade in his mouth, it staggers it for a bit. So I'm going to try to remember that. And see that bar? So you gotta now jump out of here, hit that bar, and swing across the pit of death. And then double jump again. If not, you die. If not, ye be dead. I think I put it in his mouth, but I don't freaking know. Oh, backbreaker. And this is uneasy. I love how fluid it the game sort of flows like when you're running or walking or um, when you're like strafing or it's just it's super smooth. Where the hell did you come from? Shh. Out of ammo. Jump, dude. Oh, snap, he can jump up here. Not nice. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where did he go? 
There he is. I'm out of ammo. Where'd he go? Damn! Oh wait, extra life. Oh nice! I thought I was dead. Dude, you need to die! Not dead? Gee whiz. That's super sick. Fire the frag grenades again. Oh, there it is. Die, dude. Yeah, don't go down there. That's bad. Uh, I guess you can't get up there. Um... All right, so I haven't been this far. I haven't been this far, so I don't know where I'm supposed to go. <gasps> no. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'm supposed to jump over there. Maybe. All right, let's try this. Jump. There we go. Dude, keep what? What am I supposed to do? He's just hanging there. What the hell? Maybe grab that? Not, nope. That's not what I'm supposed to do. Um. Huh, that's a good one. Okay, let's see. So if you jump over there, you can only go up so far. Maybe I was supposed to climb downward? Is he supposed to land down there? No, that's a train that fell. Where are you supposed to go? Let's try it again. All right. So I have no idea where I'm supposed to go from here. Um, he's reaching out for something. Um, I have no idea. Oh, jump! Man, okay, so you're supposed to jump. Not climb after that.
Whoa. Oh, don't get close to that one. Um, is he dead? Oh, sliced his tentacle off. Open up. Get out of the way. I'm dead. Dead, dead, dead. Alright, so that was pretty sick. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that because I want to like try to uh, uh, like recuperate and like maybe play it a little bit more and kind of figure out what I'm supposed to do and how to get that frag grenade to actually launch into that, uh, that creature's mouth. But once again, uh, this is Ray Eason, aka Lord Slayer with the Ray Eason Gaming Channel, bringing you Doom Eternal finally, I know, I know. Um, if you guys are playing this game, if you like this game, if you're a gory type of person, go ahead and comment below. Uh, also, remember to check out this video because I'm going to repost it and uh, add some cool things to it. Uh, go ahead and re uh, check out the uh, YouTube channel. Also, check out the Instagram channel for like hilarious, funny, and also some... Um, some great memes uh, about all your favorite video games, including Final Fantasy, Doom Eternal, Warhammer. Uh, and also check us out on Twitch and Mixer. Once again, thanks for watching. You guys take it easy, be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Ta-ta.